What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to another Clone Wars review. Uh, this time it will be the Season 1 episodes Trespass, The Hidden Enemy, Blue Shadow Virus, and Mystery of the Thousand Moons. So if you like these Clone Wars reviews and want some more, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. And there will be spoilers for these episodes. All right, the cast for these episodes, you have James Arnold Taylor as Obi-Wan, Matt Lanter as Anakin Skywalker, you have Brian George as Chairman Chi Cho, Jennifer Hale as Senator Rio Chuchi, D. Bradley Baker is The Clones and Thai Sen, Anthony Daniels is C-3PO, Tom Kane is the narrator and Yoda, Matthew Wood is the battle droids, Nika Futterman is Asajj Ventress, Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano, B.J. Hughes is Jar Jar Binks, Catherine Tabor is Padme Amidala, Gwendolyn Yeo is Peppy Bao, Michael York is Dr. Nuvo Vindi, and David Kaufman is J. Bo Hood. Episode 15. Trespass aired January 30th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Brian Callen O'Connell and written by Stephen Milching. And the moral is, arrogance diminishes wisdom. On the planet Orto Plutonia, near Pantora, the chairman and ruler of Pantora has the Republic set up an outpost. They examine it to find all the clones slain with helmets on pikes. They find a droid outpost with similar results. That's when Obi-Wan and Anakin discover and meet with the Tals. They broker peace with the chieftain, Thaizen, and go to have the chairman meet with the Tals. However, when the Jedi tell the chairman about the Tals, he arrogantly claims that they have no place here and are trespassing. They meet the Tals and the Chairman, despite being told repeatedly by the Jedi not to, declares war on the Tals. During a skirmish, the Chairman is fatally wounded and Pantoran Senator Chuchi negotiates peace with the Tals. They then leave Ordo Plutonia in the hands of the Tals. Episode 16, The Hidden Enemy, which aired February 6th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Stuart Lee and written by Drew Z. Greenberg. The moral is, truth enlightens the mind, but won't always bring happiness to your heart. On the glass world of Christophsis, the usual dynamic duo of Obi-Wan and Anakin, along with their clone troopers, survive an ambush. Once, back at the base, the Jedi decide to go to the Separatist base, while Captain Rex and Commander Cody stay and hunt for the traitor. The two clones discover irregular transmissions coming from the tower near Sergeant Slick's barracks. They interview all of Slick's men, and they all have credible alibis, save Chopper, who seems shady as he had hid the fact that he collected battle droid fingers. That's when Slick lets slip that he knew the Jedi had gone, thus showing him to be the traitor, and he flees. Kenobi and Skywalker get to the Separatist base and duel Ventress, and she distracts them, and they see a large force landing and they manage to escape. Slick sabotages the bulk of the heavy artillery, like the ATTs and the gunships. Cody and Rex do eventually outsmart the errant clone and capture him. He reveals he's doing it for freedom. Freedom! Uh, he's a real William Wallace, and he's arrested, and they prep for battle. Episode 17, Blue Shadow Virus, which aired February 13th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Giancarlo Volpe and written by Craig Titley. The moral is, fear is a disease, hope is its only cure. On peaceful Naboo, battle droids are found. Padme and Jar Jar are sent to help. They find a tactical droid and learn about Dr. Nuvo Vindi. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, 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 yes and that he has recreated the deadly Blue Shadow virus. Padme and Jar Jar go to find more info. They find a Gungan, Peppy Bao, and she points them in the right direction. They find the bunker and are taken captive. The Doctor reveals to the Senator and the Gungan that he has created an airborne strain of the virus and plans on sending bombs to every major star system causing a galactic pandemic. Obi-Wan and Anakin arrive, they go to the bunker, gain entrance, they arrest Vindi, deactivate the bombs, and save Padme and Jar Jar. 
episode 18, Mystery of the Thousand Moons, which aired February 20th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. Directed by Jesse Ye and written by Brian Larson. The moral is, a single chance is a galaxy of hope. While mopping up Dr. Vindy's mess, some of the virus is released in the bunker. It is sealed off, but some battle droids try and escape, but Padme, Jar Jar, Ahsoka, and the clones stop them, though they all get the virus. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan and Anakin go to the planet Iago to get a root for a cure. They get the root, but when they try and leave, a laser field prevents this, and so they return to Iago. And they have Jabo Hood reprogram some vulture droids, and they use them to help take out the main laser generator, freeing Iago. The Jedi get back to Naboo and cure everyone. What I liked. For Trespass, it's cool to see the Talls, even though they're on the wrong planet. Uh, for the Hidden Enemy, uh, this is it's nice to have kind of a clone-centric episode a little bit. It's kind of cool. Blue Shadow Virus, it's cool to see Naboo again. Mystery of the Thousand Moons, um... You get to see the Angels of Iago, which Anakin mentions to Padme in uh, The Phantom Menace. You know how he calls her an angel, and then he's like, Oh, they live on the moons of... Well, I'll just play the clip. Are you an angel? What? An angel. I heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. They live on the moons of Iago, I think. What I didn't like. For Trespass, the chairman is, uh, yeah, he's a... It's a pain in the butt. And, again, like, it's the wrong plant for the Talls. They are not native to Ordo Plutonia. I believe it's Alzoc 3 or 4. The hidden enemy. Uh, Slick's motivation. It's uh, freedom. Which is weird. Because it's like, okay, great. You want freedom. I understand that. But then his actions cause the death of a lot of his brothers. Which, it's like, you're a clone. You should, you should care about that. Blue Shadow Virus. There's a lot of opportunities that they simply could have just used the force to stop Vindy from running or when he throws vials around so they have to go worry about them so he can escape. They don't use the force to, they just try and catch them themselves. And uh, uh, more of Jar Jar's bumbling buffoonery in this episode and the next. Too much of that. And for Mystery of the Moons, it's really just... Jar Jar bumbling around. I didn't have a huge problem with this episode other than Jar Jar being Jar Jar. And uh, the rating for these episodes is as follows. Trespass is a 6 out of 10. The Hidden Enemy is a 4.5 out of 10. Blue Shadow Virus is a 5 out of 10. And Mystery of the Thousand Moons is a 6 out of 10. Some average episodes for season 1 with kind of a kind of a low one, but I mean, I, I give The Hidden Enemy a lower score because I think the clone motivation, which is a big part of the episode, just doesn't make sense. It's It causes the death of his brothers, and they have chips, so it, it's, it just doesn't make sense. It's like, you hmm, shouldn't be doing that. And, you know, more Jar Jar bumbling buffoonery, which is always not fun to watch. What did you think of these episodes? Let me know in the comment section down below. You can watch the previous Clone Wars on the top of it. And then the new gun ring on the new bottom. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.